Welcome everybody. Today I'm taking a quick look at Revolution OS, which is a distribution based off of Ubuntu 14.04 and featuring the Mate desktop environment. This is a, a small respin that I discovered while checking out distrohunt.org, which is a, uh, a new website that's currently um, being updated with new projects daily from the uh, Cup of Linux community. So what you'll find here are projects that are respins and creations from people both within the Cup of Linux community and people that have contacted the community and asked to, uh, to be added to the project listing. So Revolution OS is one of such projects. This one is um, available for 32-bit and 64-bit, although the, the creator um, of this distribution, uh, let's see here, Reverend Mark mentioned to me that he's still working on the 32-bit. It's not quite there yet, but, but it is coming along nicely. So let's take a look at what applications are available. Now under accessories, you have your uh, basic uh, accessories. So you've got your, your disk management, calculator. Under education, you have LibreOffice Math, games. Um, I actually added this game from... Um, the repository, so it's a uh, an Asteroids-like game. GIMP, Image Viewers, Shotwell Image or Organizer. Now, I'm actually a really big fan of Shotwell. It's it's a really nice way to um, to manage your photo library. Now, this is a clean installation, so I don't really have anything going on there. Firefox web browser is available by default. Hex Chat added Mumble so that I could uh, chat with people in the Cup of Linux community. Under Office, you have LibreOffice. And you can tell that they're using an icon theme set based off of uh, Windows 7. So um, that's presumably to help uh, new people convert to the uh, desktop environment, give them something a little bit familiar to start with. We've got K3B, which is a disk writing program. I added Kazam here for this uh, screencast. We've got OpenShot for video editing and video uh, VLC for video playback. Various tools of, that are uh, common. UNetBoot is uh, installed, so you can create some uh, ISO in installers from a USB terminal system monitor. Now I am recording uh, this right now, so my CPU's are pretty uh, usage is pretty high, but when I first booted into the system, it was using about 200 megs of RAM, so it's fairly, fairly lightweight and very, um, very responsive, very snappy. Now, of course, if you don't like the um, the gray theme, and that that can be that can be an issue with um, with some, especially on. Uh, on websites that don't really support the uh, dark backgrounds in text fields, there's always um, going to something a little bit more common. And you just snap through all these uh, different ideas and design concepts. Whoops, icon sets. Of course, you can customize it change your icons from the Windows 7 to maybe Ubuntu uh, style folders or maybe the traditional mate folders. It's really easy to uh, go through and theme this particular desktop. I actually really like it. Go in here and customize a little bit more. Maybe change the window border to something else. a lot of fun. Of course, in, in, um, in this case, you'd have to log in and out to get this to show up, but, uh, but it does, in fact, work rather nicely. So that's my uh, quick look over at uh, Revolution OS, featured over here on distrohunt.org. And uh, while you're hanging around over at distrohunt.org, go ahead and check out the uh, Cup of Linux community. They've got some new features on their website that include a, uh, 
a new uh, chat interface, as well as um, some ad additional features on the website itself. So you could actually have conversations with um, your friends in the uh, individual one-on-one -on -one conversations as well as the, uh, the uh, chat lobby itself. It's really quite cool. So that's uh, Revolution OS and uh, look at some of the uh, improvements over to the uh, Cup of Linux community. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.